Hey everyone, today this is the ration I'm going to be showing you and taste testing. It is a uh, Wehrmacht World War II iron ration. The uh, ration that the soldiers would get if they were going to be in a tactical, sit tactical situation and couldn't get hot food for some time. It comes with can of beef stew, and this little package, which I will open. Also, we will be looking at the additional ration, which is was for, uh, if I remember correctly, this is only for infantry on the front lines. Normally, these would have cigarettes, but MRE Mountain sends these without cigarettes. So, we'll be reviewing this as well. So, for now, we're going to start with this. Nice, Ooh, actual wax paper. That's nice. All right, let's see what is in here. Oh, double layer. Let's set that off to the side. Looks like three packs of coffee. I'm going to have to drink these at work. Um, Nakabrot, which is crisp bread. Two things of crisp bread. And, yep, this is the pea soup. Urban soup. Which, this is apparently really good. So, I'm going to go ahead and open up this can of beef stew and since I really don't have a tray or anything I'm just gonna put this in a in a bowl for now and unfortunately I can't find my ooh, really nice this then again it is just a uh, repro so could not find my Personal one. Oh yeah, look at that. Let's get this heated up. So I managed to get it in a bowl, and this is meat and potatoes, so this is actually gonna be pretty good when it's heated up. No, it may not look the best, but to be honest, it actually smells pretty good. I think this is like, it says beef stew, but it looks kinda like a roast. Oh yeah, that's a roast. That is, this is actually way better than what we got in the in the U.S. military. Tastes kind of like my uh, spouse's pot roast. Let's open up some of these crisp breads. And... Oh. Nice dark crisp bread. I think it's right, but that sucker's hard, so definitely for dipping in here. Oh yeah, crisp bread goes great with that stew. Now, I will admit this is actually a really good stew. It's It's got a good amount of fat in it. <clears throat> However, the uh, 
I'm not sure if it's just me, but there's a lot of crisp bread in this package, and it gives you two packages of these. This is a lot of bread. So I know with the pea soup, which I will not be eating at this meal. I'll move it to another meal. But if it's one package for the stew and one package for the soup, it makes sense. However, but for me, I feel like it'll probably be like half of a package for the stew. And then people and then the soldiers would just uh, nosh on the rest of the crisp bread with whatever they could find of like if they were if they were like me I would look around and I'd probably I don't know maybe pilfer someone's jam or peanut butter or something in the field if it was World War II so that would that would definitely be me I'm gonna finish this stew and then as I said I'm going to save the pea soup for another time, which I will save it and this crisp bread and we'll do another video on that because that's a lot of soup. And I will also save the coffees. I will open one of these and have coffee at some point, but after I finish the stew, we're going to open up the infantry additional ration I will admit that was a good stew however yes I'm a filthy heathen and I did put some ketchup on it because it reminded it, it was definitely a roast I'll tell you that I think I'm gonna snack on these for the rest of the day uh, but for now we're gonna open up this extra ration what do we have in here we have ooh, chocolate Um, so that's fruit. I think this is a fruit bar. A pack of matches. Deli drops. I think these are hard candy. I'm really liking the label on these. Uh, and then these two little mystery boxes. Let's see what these are. Very well wrapped. Oh. Got some sweet biscuits. And then what's this? What is this? Oh, it's like a little nougat bar. I love that they include the the pack of matches, but they don't include the uh, <laughs> the cigarettes because they can't. That's that's actually kind of funny. Um, you know what? <clears throat> Let's try this little nougat bar first. Some type of fudge. Very hard, very dense. Good though. I can see how this would definitely be a morale raiser. All right, let's try the biscuits. Mmm, little, little butter biscuits. Very soft, very light. They're definitely butter biscuits there. Oh, there. That's actually really good. <laughs> Oh, 
Let's try out the uh, <clears throat> candy drops. I like this little tube. I wish we did that. I, I wish companies did this more often. I like the little wax paper in the tube. Are these? Oh, no way. I think these are like supposed to be like the German lifesavers. Yeah, there's something like that. A little. It takes a bit to get them out. A little hard candies. Sorry if you heard all that loud crunching. Yeah, they're they're definitely lifesavers. They're old style German lifesavers. I'm chewing on these all day. <clears throat> I'm finish. Finish these after the recording. Um, let's go with this fruit bar. Wrapped in cellophane paper. It's kind of like those fruit bars that you see in the, uh, the the fruit bars that you'd see in uh, Steve 1989 when he does the old rations. They're that style of fruit, that style of fruit bar where it's just kind of like covered in sugar, that gummy fruit bar. I might just leave the package on here just to make it easier to chew. Let's take a taste. Not bad. Granted, it's fresh. If, if, if this was from World War II, I guarantee this thing would have fallen apart. But for a repro, this is actually really good. And so now we have our chocolate bar. And I love how it says Wehrmacht Schokolat, which means it's Chocolate specifically made for the Wehrmacht. <clears throat> Before we do that, let's take a look at these awesome matches. Built like a, pap a paper matchbook, but they're actual wooden matches. Let's see just how well it works. Nice, long burning match. Put that out before my spouse kills me. Let's try this <clears throat> Wehrmacht chocolate. Ooh, paper wrapping in a foil underside. Don't know if this is for if this would have been historically accurate or if this is for today's food standards. Oh, they're, they're little rectangles. Well, let's try it. Mmm. Smoked chocolate with a hint of cocoa, so it's probably a little darker. But, very good chocolate. All in all, I can see why they'd only want to give this to <coughs> soldiers on the front line, because every piece of this especially if it had cigarettes with, to go with the matches. But every piece of this is definitely a morale boost. In fact, if we had... <laughs> I wish the U.S. government would make something like this because U.S. MREs are a little eh. 
and their morale boosters are not at all a morale booster. Trust me, they really aren't. You had something like this in there, oh, that'd be amazing. But so far, for now, that is all. I'm going to be munching on these for the rest of the day, that's for sure. And then I'll probably take this uh, crisp bread over here and probably eat it with, like, peanut butter or something around the house. And then for another meal, probably tomorrow morning, I will make some coffee and record that and give my thoughts on it. And probably for lunch tomorrow, I'll be making this pea soup. And I will give my regards on that later. <laughs>